you know you want to make art. You know you need to make art. You know that your daily practice is very important to you, but you just don't know what to draw, paint, or sculpt. What's worse is then when you start looking for things to draw, you get distracted and you end up doom scrolling on Facebook or Instagram. You just can't pin it down. I'm going to show you how I deal with that. For me, it started with lists. In 2009, I discovered Danny Gregory and I started following his Everyday Matters Challenge. Looking through the lists, and it had things on it like draw a lamp, draw a purse, draw a bug. And so I followed the lists. And I started noticing that as I drew every day, I got more inspired to do other stuff. I came up with more ideas to draw because I was drawing every day. So I started making my own lists. I started taking my own pictures and storing them on my phone when I would go for walks, when I would go for drives, when I would go to the zoo, when I would go to Walmart. Anytime I would go someplace and see something interesting, I would take a picture of it and I would put it on my phone and I would save it for a later time to sketch or draw. Once I started collecting the, the phone references and I started drawing I could use those at various places I also started collecting toys and I got this idea from Jeanette Jobson. Jeanette Jobson talked about how she would take items off a shelf with her morning coffee she would take items off the shelf and she would just do value studies based on what random objects she took off the shelf. And so I took the idea of random objects and I started collecting little trinkets and eventually made a whole case full of them so that I could use them and use the just draw a random trinket every day. So that's worked for me because once I started drawing every day, once I had defined what I was going to draw every day, even though I didn't have a particular item, it was whatever random thing came out of there, I was just determined to draw that one thing every day. More ideas came to me. The more I drew, the more ideas I had, the more inspiration I had. These days, I'm actually using a list to make paintings. And so I have a whole scheme of paintings in, in mind that I want to do. And so I define a theme like large insects in flight and then I sit down and I say okay let's make a list of types of insects so, so far I've done a bee I've done a ladybug and now I'm working on a stag beetle and I'm going through the stag beetle images that I've downloaded off of the internet and practicing so that I understand the different ideas what goes into a stag beetle but that's how I manage my daily practice is I have a list of things that I know I want to draw. I have a list of paintings that I know that I want to paint. I have the list. I sit down when you're in the creative mode and I make out the list. And that's how you can do it too. Start with the the existing list. Uh, but start with the existing list like Danny Gregory's uh, Everyday Matters Challenge. And then from there, make your own lists.